Hey guys, welcome back to my next art book preview video. This week we have Merka Andolfo Sketchbooks Volume 1 and 2. I do actually have them all in this, but I think we're going to struggle to get them all in into one video. But we'll see. So we'll start with Sketchbook Volume 1 here. So a quick look at the front and back. You can see these are quite small sketchbooks. I think this would be classed as A5. So if we get straight into this, you can see that depending when you are where you order yours from, you can actually pay for a custom sketch at the beginning. So this space I think is often used for that. And these books also come signed by the artist. So let's get straight into previewing this one. Uh, just a quick warning, there is a lot of pinups, so there may be some nudity throughout this book. Generally speaking, I don't think there's anything too rude, but maybe some boobs, you know, maybe some bare nipples. Nothing too extreme, but I'm just warning, just in case I don't manage to skip it and it shows on YouTube, it might not be as YouTube friendly. Because you can probably tell straight away that this book is full of pinups, uh, especially these busty comic book girls, and they are really well done as well, to be fair. And one thing I do want to kind of apologise for, these books being that they are vertical opening, it does mean that it's really difficult to fit on my setup of camera where it's like a widescreen standard shot. Maybe if this was a YouTube shot, we'd be okay. Uh, but for this type, it's not ideal. It's very difficult to fit on. I actually considered rotating the book and showing it sort of horizontal and showing it sideways in the same way that I did with the J. Scott Campbell sketchbooks because two of those are set out like this in the same format. And it meant I could zoom in a little bit better but obviously you would be watching the video sideways essentially. So for this one, I've decided I'm just gonna do the best I can and keep it vertical. I'm not gonna skip through every page. Um, these books, I think there's 64 pages in total and I'm cutting off just a tiny bit of the top and the bottom as mentioned with this setup, but I don't think we're gonna lose any of the illustrations for the most part. So hopefully you guys can still get a good look at these. I wanted to make these videos because I couldn't find any previews of Merka's books online and there's something I always wanted. I really liked her work, but I could never find any previews at all. So I started making some book preview videos myself, hoping that it might help some of you guys if you're in the same position, you wanted to buy the books, but you want to see a little bit of what's inside first. And I will put links to the websites where you can buy these in the description box below. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but on the website, it mentions that this book, I think it said was from 2015 and was made for a New York comic book convention, which quite often that's what happens with these kind of books. They're printed, you know, for conventions and stuff. And the book is described as being full of commissions, uh, pin-up art, fan art, things like that, um, black and white, and also some colour. So I would say it's mainly black and white, but you will have noticed there is some colour pieces throughout. And it also mentioned that a lot of these are unpublished because I do find that sometimes with some of the art books I buy, um, you buy them and a lot of the work was just completely on their Instagram page or the social media and there wasn't really anything new. So I always think it's quite good if some of the art books have a lot of unpublished work in. Okay, so I'll leave it at that for book one. The print quality is really nice on these, by the way. Really like these. Okay, so if we take a look at book two, you can see it's the same format. Uh, Merka Andolfo sketchbook 2. So quick look at the front and back there. Each one's just a different colour uh, on the cover, which is pretty cool. So let's see if I can line this up in the centre of shot. So getting straight into this one, if I just talk about the artist a little bit, I believe Merka is an Italian artist who has worked with some pretty big companies actually. So the ones that come to mind first are places like DC, which again, you can probably see, I think this is actually Marvel, I take that back, but you've probably noticed some DC characters throughout. Aside from that, she has a lot of her own characters here, these like original characters. I think a lot of them are actually, I always hate saying this word because I always get it wrong, but anthropomorphic, uh, where it's, you know, like animal people, uh, things like that. And she does a really good job of them. She's got a really cool comic book style. A lot of her work seems to be very rendered in like copic markers or alcohol markers as well. Um, but yeah, she also has her own comic books or graphic novels. I'm not a huge comic book guy, so I may get some of these uh, characters and names wrong, but I believe the, the comics that she's most well known for are called Unnatural, Mercy, and also Sweet Paprika is the one that comes to mind. But as mentioned, she's worked for big companies as well. And before I forget, I actually made another video of these three art books of Merka's artwork. So these ones are a little bit bigger than the sketchbooks, and I think they're a little bit newer as well, so definitely check that out in the description box below. So moving back to this sketchbook, how awesome is this? This is so cool. Um, but where I actually got these from, 
there are certain comic book stores that do sell them, so you know maybe worth checking any local stores to you. I'm in the UK, so her website was a little bit more expensive to get um, to the UK because the shipping where it comes from is actually US, I think, from the company that uh, that runs the website. But when I messaged them to ask about shipping, they did mention that I can use the WhatNot app. Um, for those of you that have not used that before, it worked out a little bit cheaper with the shipping. And they gave me something, a code where, you know, like a referral thing, which gave me $10, which I could use towards it, as well as it being cheaper anyway. And basically, to get that, I had to watch that company set a reminder on my phone until I saw um, Merca and Dolfo's streams happening, because it tells you in advance uh, what dates and times, and you can set reminders and stuff. So I did that, and during those streams, they have some of the books available to buy. So I'll put any details below, but I believe by using that method, we will both get like a $10 credit, I guess, for using it. But don't quote me. I'll put the details below when I figure them out. But we're getting to the end there, guys. So if you did enjoy these books, I think they're absolutely awesome. I'm going to record book three, four and five in a second part video now because this video is getting a little bit too long already. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And I'll put her socials in the description box below. So make sure you subscribe for more content. And that's it, guys. So thank you for watching.